community for Regent Park. Uh, it represents one of a number of projects that you have been seeing opening, uh, but also it is in Regent Park, but it's also one of many uh, um, uh, facilities that we are upgrading and improving uh, in our recreation uh, 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 facilities as a, a way of bringing access to recreation. So we are upgrading this right across uh, the, the city, uh, but here in Regent Park it's been an amazing journey to get here. Um, this is part of the, re, uh, the Regent Park revitalization and that's led by Tom, who will wave his hand at us. Uh, it's an exciting piece of infrastructure. We've always said that Regent Park and the rebuilding of Regent Park is not about bricks and mortar. In fact, uh, even though I think there's a fair number of bricks and mortar and cement in there, uh, it really is about people. Um, and a truly healthy and strong community, as we know, is built on places where communities and people come together. And this will be a place where everyone from the neighborhoods uh, will be coming together. It's really a critical component of the building out of this community. It puts people first and it serves as an important element uh, for breaking down the barriers that have in the past divided this community uh, from its neighbors. As I've said, and I want to emphasize, um, this is the Regent Park Aquatic Center, but it is not just for people who live in Regent Park. It is for people who live in Cabbage Town, uh, to the north and to the west. It is for people who live in Cork Town, but it's also for the entire city. Everyone in Toronto is welcome to come and swim here. So, as many of you might remember, and um, uh, and any of you who are from Regent Park and over 25, uh, in fact, uh, we uh, haven't had a swimming pool uh, from uh, about about 20 years because our swimming pool 18 years ago was at Laura Dufferin uh, School. And most of our kids, um, who are now over 25, learned to swim there. Uh, but since that time, we have not had uh, the ability to replace that pool. Even though all of that time ago we said, oh yes, we're replacing that pool. Sometimes it just takes us a little while to get it right. So today we're going to celebrate that 18 year journey and finally coming to the end and to our great destination. And I hope that all of you will agree the journey was worth it um, and that we have a spectacular uh, place for people in Toronto to come and join us. Yes, the journey's been long. Uh, but uh, I've uh, been thrilled uh, that we've been joined by so many people, as I said at the beginning, whose contributions have been part of making sure uh, that this dream was fulfilled. And I'm just going to, uh, uh, first of all, call or, or name a few of them. Where's George Smitherman? George. Uh, allowed us to uh, receive the remaining three million dollars that we needed to complete the 17 million dollar project. The one million dollars was contributed uh, uh, by the province, matched by our federal government, and from there we were able to grab one more million, yet one more million from the city. Um, I also want to say, Minister, that if you would uh, just take back our thanks to Minister John Baird, uh, who was also a great supporter uh, when we came forward both with this and with the cultural center across the way. Um, this ensured that all of the elements uh, that we had dreamed of, all of the elements that we had planned uh, were able to be built. The, f uh, the, the water slide, the kids' splash uh, pool area, what we call the conversation, we say seniors, that anybody can, but the seniors' conversation pool, which is 
a little bit warmer than the rest. Um, we were able to include that because of that additional money. So that comes from an addition, and those are the additional pieces that really were contributed. Uh, the remainder of the funding came from the City of Toronto. Started off at $1 million all those years ago in Cabbage Town South, when we said, oh yes, we'll rebuild the pool. Um, and it has, as I've said, ballooned up to, uh, I guess, about $16 million. Two of those million, you might have heard, were secured through the Planning Act of Section 37 from the Trump Tower development. And I just want to say that Donald Trump I uh, was very interested in this project personally, uh, as well as the Talent Corporation, Alex Snyder and Val Levitan, uh, who are building out tr the Trump building. So I think that the next time he's in town, he'll probably zip by uh, to see that we spent his million dollars very well. But those were anchor dollars that allowed us to continue to move forward. Although it took us 18 years, and it hasn't really, uh, um, uh, if we had built at the time, uh, we would have actually ended up with a two-lane pool. Um, so I'm hoping that everyone agrees. Uh, that's all the funding we had at the time. So by waiting and dreaming and leveraging more money, uh, we were able to build what you see today right behind me. It's a perfect combination, I think, of the right money, all the right people, with the right ideas coming together. And I think you will agree with me that it was worth the wait. Um, the commitment of the City of Toronto to this project, um, the Regent Park revitalization, and, this, and, and the Centre is strong and long-lasting. And as a testament to that, if I could, I would like to also acknowledge my friend and former Mayor, Barbara Hall, who is also here and who helped me. the community, the Honorable uh, Peter Kent, Minister of the Environment. And most recently, Peter was here to announce the project in Moss Park as well, um, and the revitalization of the open spaces around the towers. Uh, he's a great supporter of the Peace Garden, uh, a project that's near and dear to his heart and my heart and the heart of this community. And he'll speak today on behalf of the Honorable Gary uh, uh, Goodyear, the Minister for Federal uh, Development Ontario. Uh, he will say a few words on behalf of the Federal Government, uh, which has supported this project as I described. As well, we have another terrific friend uh, beside us, uh, David Zimmer. David uh, is the MP for Willowdale, um, and you'll say, well, uh, gosh, from Willowdale? Yes, he is, but he has a big connection here to Regent Park. He's going to say a few words on behalf of the Government of Ontario, who supported this program, uh, as I described, through the Ontario Recreation Program. But David is also a person of Regent Park. He was the first chair of the Toronto Community Housing when the revitalization of Regent Park began, and he knows a lot about, um, about housing. Um, and in particular about public housing. But I can say that without his support, David, uh, I don't think this project, this project or this project would have ever got off the ground. And finally, I am joined uh, by another uh, dear colleague of mine, uh, Paul Ainsley. He's the chair of the Government Management Committee. He'll speak on behalf of the Mayor and of City Council. Uh, but uh, Paul has always been a great supporter, both of the revitalization and of this particular, uh, um, of this particular uh, uh, facility. I think we, I, I was expecting Janet, I don't see her, but I do see my colleague Shelley Carroll, who's also, uh, I think was uh, uh, at the time um, the chair of the budget, who helped us also move along. So uh, Peter, if you wouldn't mind, uh, if you do the, the honours as well. Thank you very much, Juice, um, and uh, as a Cabbage Towner as well as a Thorn Hiller, uh, I'm, I'm delighted to be here today uh, for the official opening of the uh, Regent Park Aquatic Centre, uh, which also uh, marks in its own way the conclusion, the wrap-up of uh, the Government of Canada's successful uh, study.
stimulus programs, which included the one from uh, which the funds came uh, to support uh, the city and the province here, the Recreational Infra Infrastructure Canada program, uh, known by its acronym RINC, which officially uh, concluded in October last year. It's been terrifically satisfying over the, uh, the past couple of years uh, to see these projects take shape, um, to approach completion, and in this case, uh, to reach uh, completion. And it's, uh, it's proof positive that all levels of government can work together uh, productively uh, to the benefit of both the community uh, involved uh, as well as our, as our broader national economy. Uh, our government, your government, uh, federal government is proud to uh, have contributed to this project. Uh, the Aquatic Center uh, uh, in the revitalization project will ensure that the families in this community uh, will have a modern aquatic facility that promotes uh, physical activity and healthy living for people uh, of, of all ages. Uh, we're proud, as I said, to have invested in this local project. Since we introduced the Economic Action Plan, uh, in 2009, in response to the, uh, to the global recession, uh, I think that uh, this country uh, and all of the communities in it, including the community of Toronto, Greater Toronto Area, uh, Regent Park, uh, have responded uh, and demonstrated uh, resilience in, uh, in these tough economic times. Um, we were delighted to, uh, to identify shovel-ready projects, even though this one was shovel-ready for 18 years almost, <laughs> uh, and, it, uh, and it did come together uh, wonderfully. We'll keep working on, uh, on uh, similar uh, projects. Uh, in fact, um, we're continuing to invest uh, in community infrastructure through a program such as the New Community Infrastructure Improvement Fund, uh, which will uh, bring $50 million together over two years uh, to repair and upgrade uh, community and recreational facilities right across Ontario. Through programs like this, uh, we remain focused. We're delighted to work with our partners, uh, the province, uh, the city, uh, and, uh, and uh, community leaders. Uh, so again, uh, I'd just like to uh, congratulate everybody that, uh, that has worked to bring this uh, project to completion. Uh, and will uh, provide so many benefits uh, for the community uh, in the future. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to be here. You have no idea how happy I am to be here uh, nine years after I became the first chair of the Toronto Community Housing Corporation. And I remember uh, the corporation was set up in 2000. I was the first chair. I had been in office about two days and George Smitherman came to see me, called me, and Pamela came to see me, and they said, David, we urge you, we urge you to press the board of the Toronto Community Housing Corporation to do something about the redevelopment of Regent Park. It had been talked about for many, many, many years. Anyway, the new board started to push and started to think about it and started to innovate and there were many, many people who uh, had difficulty seeing the vision because it was too futuristic, it was too far down the road. They had great difficulty uh, visualizing it. Frankly, had I been at the board meeting uh, that uh, first year or so and had seen photographs of this, I too, and across the street and the glass and the buildings, I too would have given my head a shake and said, you know, I think I'm in some movie about the far, far away future. But here we are, nine years later, this magnificent structure made possible by everybody's contribution, the city, the federal government, the province, the public sector, the private sector, and above all, the goodwill of hundreds and thousands of people who are friends of Regent Park. So I say to you, Pam, I say to you, George, I say to you, Shelley, I say to you, former mayor, all back there. Thank you very, very much for keeping the vision alive and thank you for charging the first board of the Toronto Community Housing Corporation with the task of getting on with it. And then three years later, you know, there's a road in life sometimes, and three years later I ended up as a provincial politician, again working with George Smitherman, and George uh, went to the cabinet and he pressed the cabinet to continue on with their funding. Anyway, here we are. It's a great, great day for the friends of Regent Park. Thank you.
Thank you, Pam. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, it's my pleasure I'm here on behalf of the Mayor and Toronto City Council. I want to begin by thanking the Government of Canada and the Province of Ontario for providing financial support for this amazing project through the Recreational Infrastructure Canada program and also the Ontario Recreation program. I, uh, I, and I guess I, want, I also want to say I'm, I'm here under two hats. I, I was here to give my official remarks and I'm also here as a big supporter of, uh, of Councillor McConnell and all the work that she does. I was, uh, I was just saying to her the other yesterday, and in fact, uh, I was asked to come here on behalf of the Mayor and Council, uh, but I've had an article from the Globe and Mail uh, that profiled this building about a month, and a, a month ago, a month and a half ago, uh, and it was cut out and it's been up on our refrigerator at home uh, because I, I read about it and I, there was a drawing that came with the article and uh, I can remember saying to my wife, I said, what an amazing project that this looks like. And I said, as a, someone that's been involved around City Hall for, for over 10 years, 12 years, one of the things that I've learned is that when you look at a diagram and you say, wow, what an amazing project, that nine times out of 10, when you actually go and see the project, it's amazing. It's beyond what you're going to see in that diagram. And I think that's another one of these projects. When I walked in with David and Minister Kent, I walked behind us and saw all the uh, facilities that are available in this center, um, from the change room to uh, to the Tarzan rope that I think we'll try and get Mayor Ford back and he can try that out. <laughs> yes. uh, but there, there's so many uh, things to do behind us. I'm not going to talk very long. I know there's a group of people there that are they're anxiously waiting to get in the pool. Uh, but I also wanted to be here as a city councillor to thank Councillor McConnell for all her, her hard work. She always works in a very uh, collaborative manner at City Council. We just finished working on another project, uh, the first Parliament site, uh, to safeguard that on our Government Management Committee that we sit on together. So I know how hard Pam works for, for her community and how uh, she prides herself on bringing everybody together. And I think uh, that's evident today by all the people that are here from TCHC, uh, George Smitherman, uh, Councillor Carroll, Barbara Hall in the back there. I think uh, Gordon Chong's here and Shirley Hoy, the former city uh, manager. Uh, I think it's a real testament to Pam's hard work and her fortitude that, uh, you know, this has been 18 years in the making, but as David said, really coming to fruition in the past nine years. And as I said on our tour, I had, you know, it's amazing the, the facilities here, but the work that our park staff did as well to go out and look across Canada at the number of different facilities and to incorporate all the best components of all of them into the into the aquatic center that we're going to cut the ribbon on shortly. So I want to thank everybody for coming today. Pam, I want to congratulate you for all your hard work. I know uh, this is very exciting for you and a, and a great uh, Christmas present at this time of year as well. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Um, as Pam said, this wasn't a Toronto community housing project. This really is a, a city project. It's a major piece of city building, and um, where, where it's important for Toronto community housing, this is uh, a cultural uh, uh, community hub in the middle of Re Regent Park. The, uh, the, Re the community is changing. Uh, the, the, the bricks and mortar are, are realizing the potential that was always there, and to, to have these types of um, wonderful facilities for the community. It's, it's marvellous, so I'm, I'm very happy to be here. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we, uh, we conclude. Uh, I think um, that there has been a lot of effort by many, many people here, and that's, I hope, what you can see. Um, and there are, uh, we've acknowledged uh, the work of the Government of Canada and the Province of Ontario and the City. It's interesting what we get done when all orders of government work together for the betterment of their people. And I'd encourage you to go across the street to the cultural center that was opened, uh, where uh, the province of Ontario, uh, where uh, the private sector and uh, uh, and the, and the, um, the uh, and Canada, the government of Canada, sorry, uh, made where well, they were the biggest. Uh, funders over there. So, uh, so I think we're all working together to do what we can in all of our different spaces uh, to make uh, to make this a great neighborhood to live in. 
Uh, but I think that I don't want to miss out to one of the most important group of people um, who made this happen, and that's our Parks and Recreation staff. Uh, from uh, Jim Hart and, and, and Jamie Romoff and, and Anne, uh, Mara, they're all uh, the city bureaucrats who are making the whole uh, piece work. But they also had on the ground some pretty amazing people. Uh, Gary, where are you? Gary Sanger, who uh, really made this piece happen. Uh, Doug Giles, who went out with me night after night to talk to the community, is here. And James Honeyman, who is going to make this place hum like crazy. Um, and is so excited to be back working in Regent Park. Um, our staff always have embraced uh, the importance of the social infrastructure of Regent Park, so it's important to remember that. Um, in addition, uh, they're now starting on the park, which you will see up there, um, and uh, that construction of the new community center, which will be just down here. Um, and in addition to the partnership that we have with community housing, um, who would ever forget the word Daniels? And so Mitch Cohen is here. Uh, thank you, Mitchell, for all of your work and the partnership that you have given us. Um, and in the way in which you made uh, these dreams come true. Um, and there are just a couple of others, if I could, because Mayor Miller uh, was unable to join us, but he uh, sent his very special um, thank you. Uh, his support was very crucial. I men I've mentioned uh, George Slitherman, uh, but there are a few others that also are here. And Shirley, and uh, you're here, and I want to thank you uh, for all your work. And if I can find where I put all of your names, uh, Gordon, uh, uh, you're here. Uh, uh, Gordon uh, uh, was one of the first uh, people at uh, council that supported. Um, the, the redevelopment under Mayor Lastman, and wow, that was just such a boost for me as we started to do that. So Gordon Chong and Shirley Boy, Derek Valentine is here. We wouldn't have been able to do it without your visionary and your leadership, and I want to personally thank you for that. Thank you. 